Whatever happens in that room, show no reaction, no emotion, no surprise. No matter what you see, do not move. What will I see? It's our new mascara line. It doesn't fluff, it's non hypoallergenic, and it's vitamin enriched. There are several points of interest here. First of all, the fact that by an impressive margin, new home purchases took most of the brunt of that decline. <coughs> by this, I mean that sales of older homes are done on an individual basis, but there's considerably more room for negotiation. Therefore, in those sales, we are more likely to find that the official rise in mortgage rates has been offset somewhat by the respective rates of return on high-tech investments, which led to a surge in business capital spending and significantly increased the underlying growth rate of productivity. The capitalization of these higher-than-expected returns boosted equity prices, generally beyond even that expected by the enhanced rise in real incomes. The elevated level of light vehicle sales, for example, has put more vehicles on the road than the industry could sustain. And even though demand for a number of high-tech products was doubling or tripling annually, in many cases new supply was coming on even faster. Overall, capacity in high-tech manufacturing industries rose nearly 50% last year, well in excess of its rapid rate of increase. Accordingly, the slowdown in the economy that began in the middle of last year intensified, perhaps even to the point of growth stalling out around the turn of the year. As the economy slowed, equity prices fell, especially in the high-tech sector where previous high valuations were being re-evaluated, resulting in significant losses in some investors. Clearly, some slowing in the pace of spending was necessary if the economy was to progress a more balanced and sustainable growth. With the process likely intensified by the rise in the cost of energy that has strained business and household purchasing power, purchases of durable goods and investment in capital equipment declined more and more because the slowdown was not anticipated by businesses. It induced some backup in inventory the more advanced technologies just production levels more rapidly. Inventory sales ratios rose over time. And even after the policy actions taken in January, the risks continue skewed toward the economies remaining on a path inconsistent with satisfactory economic performance. For the assessment of the outlook and the understanding of recent policy options, the role of the technological change in productivity is shaping near term Diane Thursby. Your wife is Diane. 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 Diane.
adjustment for its policy. In conclusion, a cautious approach is always the best strategy. Thank you for your attention. Excuse me. Do you have the time?